when you're overseas, people don't look at you like a guitar player or cab driver. You're an American. I never thought of myself as an American. I'm from New Jersey. Stop the world for a minute. He was a great performer, great songwriter, great producer. I love his enthusiasm and encyclopedic knowledge of music. He's a businessman. He's a philanthropist. He really is a renaissance man. I'm losing my balls over here! Miami Steve was a character that I was playing in the E Street Band. The Dean Martin in our rock and roll Rat Pack. We were so close, I just wanted him near me. He just became my rock and roll brother instantly, you know? But he did need to take his shot. 15 years, we finally made it. And I quit. The night before payday. I went from artist to activist. I marry this fun rock and roll guy, and all of a sudden, he's in South Africa. Steve got together different genres of music. The amount of artists that were involved. Rockers, rappers, R&B stars. Steven understood rock and roll owed a debt to the continent of Africa. There's this guy who was so well-read and so politically astute, but dressed like a dervish or a pirate. He's nothing less than a revolutionary. But I was spiritually exhausted. I said what I wanted to say, and no record company wanted to sign me anymore. So I walked my dog for seven years. I wanted to be a, a very different, as different as I could be, thinking I'm never going back to music again. You know? <laughs> Steven, the second act, it's amazing. All of a sudden, he's in television, radio. He's building a record label. Rock and roll kept him alive. And I really do believe it's his religion. Steve's a true believer. There's something about rock that's unique in the way it communicates emotion, inspiration, and motivation. This is what it's all about.